hey guys welcome back now let's continue implementing this architecture now so far we have created an api gateway lambda and lambda was adding events to event bridge now we haven't yet added any targets to the event bridge because of that whenever the events are added to the event bridge they are essentially going to be lost since event bridge is not like a queue but uh, it acts as a pub sub service it's not going to persist your messages the main use case of event bridge is to route your messages intelligently depending upon the rules that you have defined so in this video let's create a target sqs queue and then we'll create an event bridge rule that will forward some of those messages to the sqs queue so when you are creating the event rule we can specify what type of messages should be forwarded to the sqs queue so let's get started first we'll create a sqs queue and then the rule and also an iam policy which will give permission for event bridge to push any messages to sqs queue that we have defined because like in any other services in aws if one service want to communicate with the other service we need to provide permissions and we do that with iam policy all right so here i'm in the code i will go to the resources so right now we only have an event bus so let's go ahead and create our target sqs queue so let's use cloud formation and i will search for sqs queue cloud formation and select the first link so this is the documentation link if you scroll down I can take some example from the YAML configuration. So let's go ahead and create a logical name. I'll call this uh, target SQSQ. And this is of type SQSQ. So I can easily copy here. And then we need to define the properties. So when you are creating a standard SQS queue, let's see what are the required properties. I just search for yes. Well, there are no any required properties, but let's go ahead and add a queue name. You can find the queue name attribute right here. Queue name. And I'll call this QR message queue. And we'll do the deployment a little later. But now we have a queue. Next, we are going to create an event rule. So again, let's search for event bridge. Event bridge, cloud formation. Select the first link. And you can find the rule resource. Select that. Again, if we scroll down, you can see the type and the properties that we need to provide to create a rule. So let's give it a logical name first. Target SQS rule. Get the type from documentation and the properties. So let's see what are the required properties. So I just search for yes. Well, apparently there are no any required properties for this one as well but we need to define the event bus that this rule is going to be attached and then the target that this rule is going to forward and also the event pattern so this is the important part of the rule so we can create an event pattern so this rule will make sure only the events that matches with this event pattern will be forwarded to the target that we define here. So let's add these three attributes. So first with the event bus. Event bus. And here we need to specify the ARN of the event bus. And we already know how to get the ARN. So this is our event bus. And we are going to use get ATT intrinsic function event bus dot arn next let's set the target i'll select target so target is an array 
so let's add that one so we need to add array items we are only going to have one target for the event rule you can have up to five targets but here we only want to forward it to sqsq when it comes to targets you have to define target so let's click target and see what attributes does it require here we go we need to define the arn and other information so let's see what are the att required attributes so there are two required attributes arn and the id id is something specific to that particular target and this has to be unique and then the arn so let's add this mentory fails I will add the ARN. So we need to get the ARN of the SQSQ. So this can also be taken with intrinsic function get. Get ATT target Q dot ARN. And then we need to specify the ID. Let's give it a unique name. So I'll just say QR event bus target sqs and i will also suffix it with the stage name so now we have provision and sqs queue and also an event rule so that event bridge can forward messages that matches with the event rule to the sqs queue but still this is not going to work simply because we do not have given the permission to event bridge to add messages to sqs queue now in order to allow event bridge to add events to SQS queue, I'm going to create an IAM policy or rather we call it a resource based IAM policy at SQS queue allowing event bridge to put messages to SQS queue. So let's see how to do that. First, let's go ahead and search for SQS queue cloud formation and select the link. This will take you to the SQS queue cloud formation documentation. And in SQS queue, there are two resources, queue, which is the one that we just use, and the other type is queue policy. So this is what I am talking about. So let's select this one. So it has its own type, the queue policy, and some properties. So under properties, we need to specify the policy document and the queues that this policy is going to be applied. So here's an example. So if you scroll a little bit down, you can find an example. This is the JSON and let's get the YAML version. So here, first we need to define which queue this policy is going to be applied. And then what are the permission that we are associating through this policy document? So here we need to add the statements array and we need to add the action. So we should add SQS queue send message so that event bus can send messages to SQS queue and allowing the effect and the resource. So resource is essentially the queue ARN. And then we must define the principal. Now since we are creating this as a resource policy, meaning that we are adding the permission to the SQS queue, we need to define what are the principles or the entities that are allowed to use this permission. So this principle could be an AWS service or IAM user, an entire AWS account, another AWS account, and so on and so forth. So here our principle is event bridge. So let's create this one and it will be more clearer. Target SQSQ policy. And let's get the type from here. and then the properties so first we need to add the queues so this is an array and here we need to specify the queue url so let's see how can we get that i will open this uh, sqs queue resource so this is the one we previously used to create the queue and if we scroll down a little bit under the return section well, if we use ref, it's going to return the queue URL. So this is exactly what we need. 
so let's use that ref and our target is qs queue that will return the queue url good then we need to add the policy document so let's add that too and the statements array statements let's first add the effect allow and the action so we essentially need sqsq send message i'll copy this one directly from the example and then the resource which is the arn of the sqsq and we know how to get the arn already so i take a copy from here so we get the qarn here and finally we need to define the principal now we need to get the principal name of the event bridge now each aws service has a pattern to the principal name now for ec reference i have bookmarked this particular link this is a link to a gist and it includes all the principal names of aws services and here you can see events.amazonaws.com is the principal names of events bridge if i copy this and hit enter now we are referencing our aws service so let's add the, this is a service aws account also and add the principal name which is events.amazonaws.com so here we created an target sqs queue and a rule and the target sqs queue policy now this is one thing we actually need to do when we were creating the sqs queue event rule we only mentioned the event bus and the target so this is going to match all the events and send it to sqs queue target but if we want to add some filtration of the messages which we can do that very easily now here we have to define the event pattern so let's add an event pattern we won't be sending all the events to SQS queue. And let's again search for event bridge cloud formation. Go to the first link. And then the event rule. And this is the event pattern. So event pattern is a JSON. So let's add that one event pattern. So here we can write our event pattern. Now just to take a reference, I will go to functions and put events function. Now this is the event that we are adding to event bus. When we are writing the event pattern, we can filter by the source, detail type and the detail body and all these attributes really. So let's use a couple of attributes. I'll filter by the source and the detail type. And if you want, you can go even more granular level with detail attributes as well but i will use source here source it has to be simple source is for lab and we need to add it as a array and then the detail type this should also be added as detail dash type this also needs to be an array so the detail type is user sign up. Okay. So if you want to add details, you can further add another attribute detail and then add the other attributes that you want to filter this. I'm not going to add that. So let's go ahead and deploy this. I will do npx sls deploy. All right. So it is deployed. So let's go ahead and test this out. I will post a message through Postman. So this is the one that we previously entered. So let's add another one, two, 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 two. And I will click send. Okay, now I got the return back with the event ID and there is no any failures. So now let's go to AWS. So let's go to SQS queue and let's find the queue that we created. 
and I should essentially find a message in the queue and it should be there because uh, we haven't added any workers to consume those messages therefore it should be available in the queue so let's see I'll go to the queues I need to select the correct region this is North Virginia or US East 1 and here we go this is my queue QR message queue and there's one of the messages available already so let's go into the queue and let's click send and receive messages and here let's poll for messages here we go I see the message I'll select it so this is the message that event bridge rule forwarded to SQSQ you can see the vehicle number is CX2222 and then I see now this message is still available in the queue because we haven't added any consumers to this particular queue next we are going to add a lambda consumer to batch process these messages that are there in the queue so let's do that in the next video